the Technical Historical Museum of the Corporation Russian Space Systems. Exhibited there are more than 500 equipment specimens created over more than 60 years, starting from the onboard control system of the legendary Simurka up to the nanosatellite, a spacecraft weighing only 10 kilos. All started with the Earth's first artificial satellite. In 1957, its transmission signal told the entire world about the commencement of a new age in the history of humankind, the era of space exploration. The transmitter was developed by the Institute of Space Instrumentation. These are the documents that we're keeping with care in our museum. Indeed, they're surely a relic not only for our enterprise, but the corporation exclusively, but for the entire Russian space industry and the history of humankind. Due to the fact that these are the documents that had enabled to create the first artificial satellite of Earth, which informed all the Earthlings about their breakthrough into the remote heights of space. From now on, we can extend our scientific, economic and technical claims to the entire solar system. These documents were being kept under the Institute's archives custody. Meanwhile, the Institute of Instrumentation is presently the Russian Corporation of Space Rocket Instrumentation and Information Systems. Public joint stock company Russian Space Systems. Into the future with confidence. The corporation's management, never forgetful of their past merits, not only aspired to keep abreast with the times, but even forestall its demands. Our corporation's creation pursues its main object, that is to intensify the scientific and technical progress in the instrumentation area, develop such large-scale space systems as GLONASS and such humane ones as COSPASS SARSAT, which provides the most caring rescue thanks to space technologies, and certainly developing the electronic component basis, which is applied in space, creating the most up-to-date devices for the integration of all Russian space companies' efforts. The public corporation Russian Space Systems is a leading corporation of the Russian space rocket industry. Developed, created and operated here are GLONASS navigation system, the space system of monitoring and earth remote probing, the system of monitoring critically important objects and dangerous cargoes, the international space rescue system COSPASS SARSAT. The corporation includes six leading enterprises of the Russian space rocket industry. Nowadays, the Russian navigation satellite system GLONASS embraces the entire globe. It can be used on the ground, on the sea, in the air and in space. Access to the system's civil signals is granted without any restrictions. In spring 2010, the system managed to withstand the test of frost while operating in the extreme north. The results of a unique days-long expedition Northern Troops were broadcast all over the world. GLONASS is able to rescue from the most hard-of-access places. Two years earlier, this navigation system successfully passed the test in the southernmost spot of the planet. An aircraft with Russian expedition crew members aboard managed to reach the Antarctic thanks to GLONASS instructions. Equipment readings accuracy resulted in 3 to 10 meters. A historic event. Until then, one used to land aircraft on the South Pole, relying on one's eyesight visual data only. Only the best pilots were selected for such missions. Nowadays, the best ever system provides them assistance. On February 19th of 2010, there was put into constant operation a station of GLONASS correction in the Antarctic. Hence, one could definitely conclude that GLONASS demonstrates a higher reliability in the polar areas than GPS. Another system which the corporation has been working on since 1978 has also literally passed an exam the International Rescue System COSPASS SARSAT. The personal radio boy of COSPASS SARSAT system is equipped with a GLONASS GPS receiver in order to increase the exactitude characteristics in defying each accident's coordinates. Forty-five countries officially participate in the COSPASS SARSAT program. With its aid, more than 100 people are rescued monthly around the globe. In case of emergency, it switches on a special radio buoy which transmits every minute SOS signals. These signals are received by a special center of data processing. As a result, rescue crews immediately get on the way. Furthermore, 
Russian space systems has developed mini spacecraft of a new generation Stirk, intended specifically for the rescue system. Presently, the corporation stakes above all on multifunctional systems. For instance, GLONASS and COSPAS Sunset systems are closely related to each other. At an early date, satellites GLONASS K will receive COSPAS Sunset rescue buoy signals. A brand new program of the Russian Federal Space Agency has been symbolically named Aero GLONASS, which is the Russian abbreviation of a emergency response in case of accidents. Vehicles equipped with a special GLONASS GPS unit will be able to inform automatically in real time, should a traffic accident happen, about its location and type and transmit the data to the nearest control point of MRCOM or emergency service. Police, ambulances, firefighters will respond in a flash. It is assumed that all motor vehicles will be equipped with such devices. Interest in GLONASS is growing all over the world. Another system which is particularly needed by various ministries and offices is the remote probing of the Earth. The corporation is responsible for reception, processing and distribution of the information transmitted by all Russian space apparatuses. From the altitude of 500 kilometers, it's possible to discern an object of one meter size or even a smaller one. Gigabytes of information flow together in the scientific center of Earth operative monitoring related to the public corporation Russian Space Systems. By means of such space images, one is able to estimate the scale of man-made and natural disasters, watch over illegal fouling, chart maps of natural deposits and control their rational use. Satellites are at the heart of all space systems. In order to operate them, there was created the Integrated State Automated Ground Complex in Russia. More than 80% of these complex systems have been developed by the corporation Russian Space Systems. Daily, with aid of the complex, there are carried out more than 500 control sessions of nearly 180 spacecraft. Several years ago, from aboard the International Space Station, Russian cosmonaut Salijan Sharipov launched the first nanosatellite developed by the corporation. It was a daring experiment. Nanosatellites are a state-of-the-art technology in cosmonautics. These highly complex systems are able to receive, study and transmit information. Meanwhile, they can be operated via a computer or even a cell phone. Those working in Russian space systems are sure that satellites with a nano prefix will undoubtedly find their niche in the market of space industry services.